mangoes 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 as you know now it's a season of mangoes and we can see indian mangoes everywhere in the shops these days so i thought it's a perfect time to introduce this video because i had somebody asking me about the procedures of importing mangoes from india into the uk so thank you for asking this question and we are today so we are going to be talking about importing mangoes from india into the uk as you might already know uk is the second largest market for uh, indian mangoes uae is the first and uh, the most common mangoes that you see in the uk is kesar mangoes and alfonso mangoes and uh, these are generally seen in the areas where you have you know huge pockets of uh, indian population actually so it can be in london it can be in birmingham manchester leicester and uh, many other places where there is a huge population of our uh, you know indian community so things to remember before exporting from india into the uk so basically when you go to the retail shops in the uk you will see there are two types of boxes that comes you know with the mangoes so it could be either a box of 6 or it could be a box of 12 so the box of 6 the general rrp it can be around 12 to 15 pounds the box of 12 can be like a dozen mangoes can be around 25 to you know 28 pounds in that range and it mostly comes from two airports in india one is from gujarat which is ahmedabad airport the other one is from mumbai airport when you export mangoes from india two things that you need to keep in mind is it should not be overripe it should not be underripe as well so keep in mind that it could be either 30 to 40% ripe because by the time it gets here in the air courier then it would be perfect for you to sell because once the customer gets it they would be keeping it in their home for over a week as well so you need to keep that in mind so when the time the customer gets it it would be perfect for them to keep it at home ripen it and then have it next what are the documents that you require for importing mangoes into the uk it's similar to what i have covered in my you know the very first video of importing into the uk where i have covered all the documents in detail you can check out that video if you want later on after this video so for mangoes as well it's the same so you would need a commercial invoice from your supplier you would need a packing list from your supplier and you because it comes in air courier you would need an airway bill as well to show it to the customs and in the uk what are the things that you need to do you need to have an eori number for your uh, importing and if you are if you are exporting from the uk as well so that's something that you require you would also need to register with defra peach website because it's a perishable goods you need to register there and uh, you know submit the uh, document there as well i will leave the link for the defra peach website in the comments below so make sure you go there and um, you know check the website and register if required again the freight forwarder as i always recommend make sure you use a freight forwarder so they'll recommend and they will tell you what are the documents that you would need when you are importing all these products into the uk because there can be changes that can happen on a daily basis with all these documents okay and after it comes to the uk airport well, mostly it would be coming to the heathrow airport so you would have a few charges at the airport as well it could be the handling charges the airport handling charges it could be the duty or it could be the you know, the local transport charges to your warehouse customs entry fees and there is something called dti fees as well so keep in mind that this these could be some extra charges again speak to the freight forwarder to understand what are the charges that would be you would have to handle when it comes into the uk if you are handling that local transport from the uh, airport to your place then that should be in uh, taken under consideration as well okay so basically that's the only thing that you need to keep in mind when you are importing mangoes into the uk so it's not too complicated because it can come only by air freight you can't bring it by ship because you know it can't uh, take 30 days to bring the mangoes here as well so um, so basically as i said it's just invoice packing list and the airway bill that those are the three documents that you need and you need to register with the defra peach website and have an euri number so speak to the freight forwarder and understand if there are any more requirements for importing mangoes okay so wish you all the best and hope you found this video helpful i will uh, see you in my next video until then please like and subscribe and uh, comment if you have any other questions that i have to cover in the coming videos take care
बाय